Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about um, some organic products that I like and some that I don't really care for, um, what you need to look for when you're looking for organic products and um, that sort of thing. Firstly, uh, the first example I'm going to start off with is a, um, it's a brand called Earth Science and this is their clarifying facial wash. Now, it appears to be natural. It was in a natural store. Doesn't mean it's natural. Please read the ingredients when you're buying natural things and organic things because then you will find out what's really organic in the product and what's really natural. Uh, the last ingredient on this is fragrance. So that nice citrusy smell that you think you're getting from all the extracts that they loaded up in here, it's an irritating ingredient. It's fragrance. Fragrance can be irritating to a lot of people. The cleanser I use now, non-scented from Paula's Choice. Non-scented, non-fragrance, no color. Um, this clarifying facial wash, you know, be aware of the ingredients and honestly, I'd, what I'd like you guys to do, if you could, take a product that you really like and then a product that you hate. Research the ingredients, Google it, okay? And you, then you'll realize why you like that product and why you hate the other one. Because I'm sure that there's a drying or irritating ingredient in the product that you uh, don't like. So like one of the products that I don't like, this is a conditioner and it's by uh, Nature's Gate, which I like some things from this brand, okay, so not all Nature's Gate things are bad. Last ingredient is fragrance. This is supposed to be a natural lavender conditioner. Uh, one of the first ingredients is cetyl alcohol, and they have to understand the first ingredients are the ones that make the bulk out of whatever product that you have. So, cetyl alcohol is the third ingredient. It's very drying. I hate to say it, I wanted to love it, I did, but after about a few months of using it, I realized my hair was really dry, so I won't be repurchasing from Nature's Gate, uh, their shampoos or conditioners, they seem to be very drying. One thing from Nature's Gate that I absolutely love, and this is great guys, if you have stretch marks or you've had major surgeries, I was hit by a drunk driver and I have like a 7 inch scar down my belly, and a big one on the back of my um, my arm from getting metal plates and I've got you know rods in my hips and in my legs so I've got all sorts of scarring and um, I've used this product for a few months and um, it's great for when you're on the go it's a body stick so you swipe and go and it doesn't it, you, I've not had a problem with it staining my clothes lift up my shirt swipe and go um, it's great it's really great they're certified organic cocoa butter as the first ingredient and um, there's no irritating ingredients. There's essential oil of vanilla. It smells great. And it's great for stretch marks. I have a lot of stretch marks and I uh, apply this every day. I apply this on my scars three times a day. Um, also, if you're having scarring problems or stretch marks, I recommend using an oil. Now, a lot of people don't like oils and if you don't like oil, that's okay. There's alternatives out there. But for the, those of you that do, um, I use this all over my body twice a day, and it's by Oracation. Now, this is a great brand for oils or um, massage oils. And I guess you would consider this a massage oil. Um, it's sweet almond, and there is vitamin E in it. And this is my favorite oil of all time. I've tried everything, <laughs> and this is great. So, um, it's minimally refined oil, and um, so it's, it's, it's just great. There's two ingredients. How wonderful is that? Sweet almond oil and vitamin E. So, um, just again, read instructions or read the ingredients <laughs> before you read the instructions and what they promise you. Um, this is by Avalon Organics, and this is my um, second favorite organic company. I love them. This is the best shave gel in the whole world. I can honestly tell you. Um, I've always had problems shaving. I've always had irritation. Uh, I couldn't shave every day. It was just—it was driving me nuts. And then, uh, for a birthday present, my friend got me this, and I can't tell you—I could not live without this stuff. If they stop making this stuff, I will kill myself. No, <laughs> I won't do that. But I really love this product because I can shave every day, never any irritation, never. Okay, understand that. This is all organic stuff. It's wonderful if you can—if you can find it. I found this at Wild Oats. Uh, which is a natural grocery store. If you can find this, please go get it. Um, they have a website, avalonorganics.com, okay? And um, you might be able to buy it on the website. I haven't checked out their website. Um, great. Now, some of their lotions and that sort of thing, they can be irritating if you're allergic. 
because I didn't realize I was allergic to rosemary and I'm smearing it all over me and I broke out everywhere. So um, take that into consideration, do a small little patch test, that sort of thing. Another great company that's organic is called Pangea. Now uh, this is becoming very popular. I've seen these guys in salons now and um, they're very environmentally friendly which is great. I love a company that cares about the environment while promoting their natural product. Now this was 13 something. Now it lasts you forever. I've had this for two months and it's not even it's not even half full. Like it's like it's half full. Like it gets to here. And you just need to drop and you put it on like a sponge and then you um, and you use it and it, it lasts forever. So I know it's expensive but it's a great cause and it's um, it will last you a very long time and it smells amazing. This has lavender and cardamom in it and they have different um, fragrance uh, choices for you guys. And this is all organic, there's no petroleum, no sulfates, so if you're in, you know, you kind of freak out about the sulfates, good, good option. And then my favorite organic company is Jason. You guys may not have heard of them, but they're wonderful. Um, you can go to jason-natural.com and um, check them out, okay? This is the Sea Kelp Conditioner. It's my favorite conditioner of all time. I use it almost every day. There's a Jojoba, I have them all. <laughs> There's a Jojoba um, shampoo. This is just amazing. And their conditioner as well. The aloe vera shampoo wasn't really a big fan of. Um, I still buy it just because I love the smell. And then um, the conditioner is really great too. So there is a lot of different um, choices by Jason. They also do uh, lotions and body washes and that sort of thing. Um, I love this vitamin E lotion. It's great for scars. Great for it's mainly I use it as a hand lotion because it's just it's unscented. It's great. Um, a new company that I've looked into is um, Giovanni Organic Technology. Um, this is a volumizer for my hair, and I really like it. It does work. You have to do it while you're blow drying your hair, though. That's the only thing I've found. Um, there is sunscreen in this, and there's also there is fragrance in this and essential oils, or fragrance with essential oils. So that's good. Um, a great company. Uh, I tried their shine spray. It was really great too. So um, if you're thinking about going organic, you're thinking about you know buying some products, make sure it's organic. Make sure it's natural. Um, if you guys are interested in changing your deodorant, because deodorant does cause cancer, um, some of the ingredients, I'm not going to go into it. You can research it. Um, I use this crystal deodorant and um, I sweat still, but I don't smell. So this is absolutely amazing. And you can go to their website at thecrystal.com. And you might just want to try it and see if it's right for you. This is the liquid kind with the roller. And you swipe it. And I usually use it twice a day because um, it does have a tendency to wear off when towards the end of the day. Um, but it's all I use and I've used it for five years now. So um, you might find the first month you still kind of stink because this is starting to work. So give it two months. If you're not satisfied, go back to your regular. But if you're concerned about breast cancer and um, the ingredients found in deodorant, try this on for size. What else? Be aware of things that appear natural when they're not, like he said. Um, Lumine is a company that tries to act like they're really natural when they're really not. So just take that into consideration. If you can get your hands on this, get your hands on some sea salt scrub. And I get a lavender kind um, at Trader Joe's, but um, great for exfoliation. Uh, right before you go out and get a tan, scrub it on, rinse off, put some lotion on, and you're good to go. Um, it's great also for scarring to, um, they, they tell you to, um, to exfoliate and then moisturize with, um, I usually use this and then swipe some of that cocoa butter stick on. Um, I've tried Mederma. It doesn't work, okay. There's no scientific evidence that Mederma works. Your, your scar naturally changes over time, so if you use it over time, you may think that it's the Mederma that's working, but it can actually be just the natural body's way of healing. So anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, and just sharing some of my favorite brands and uh, 
I will see you guys later.